Rob from Spiky Farm Army TV. We're at the Morton Shovel Southside Dartford Centre. Uh, welcome to Spiky Farm Army pre game show. Come on, you stones. Right, let's get underway ahead of this massive Kent Derby today. So, the under 15s and champions of the league, Central Division. Congratulations. And we're going to show you the under 15s elite table then, how they've won it. Come on, you stones. for the Maidstone's two final home games are already on sale. Uh, they went on sale last week. Uh, the majority of them have gone on sale via e-tickets online. Uh, but then you can probably still pay on the day anyway, so don't panic. That is for the final two games and that's Chelmsford City then. The home game at the Gallagher on the 30th of April, Saturday. And then the final home league game Hampton Richmond Borough, uh, Saturday to May the 7th, yeah, so you can get e-tickets online now, but you will still be able to pay on the day. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to just stand there like that? Yeah, that's fine. Right, uh, yeah, well, Jerome Brennan Williams, well, a massive defender. Well, he got in the Van der Arm and National League South then, uh, Team of the Week. And it's been a great week for him as well, Jerome Bill and Williams. He also got player of the month then. You voted for him, based on United, 41% of the votes. He got in as a Maidstone's player of the month for March. Come on, Jerome, well done. Oh. Right, the Wall of Fame is back. For the, till the end of the season. So if you want to get in there, get uh, you've got two lines, 16 characters, uh, that includes punctuation and spaces. You can get your name printed out, or get your whatever you want to say, get it printed out on there on the wall of fame at Maidstone United Gallagher Stadium. What a memory that you've had, or anything you want to put in there. It's 35 quid plus one pound fifty online fee. So total then is 36 pound 50. That's a message, two lines, 16 characters. Um, get it on there and then you get it up on the uh, Maidstone Wall of Fame. You can go on the Maidstone website, uh, put in on the form and the club will then process it. Right, you want a parking space at a, at a decent rate then if you're commuting to London or you're working in Maidstone, you can park at the Gallagher Stadium. That is Monday to Friday then, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. You can uh, contact the club, you can work, or you can park at the stadium. Uh, and then, it, uh, a decent cost anyway. So it's payable by standing order on a quarterly or monthly basis. Group bookings for companies you can also take as well. Uh, the, the ground's only like five minutes from Maystone Centre, five minutes from Maystone Barracks and Maystone East Railway Station as well. So to inquire if you want to do that, contact Simon Daniel then at the club. Maystone 01622 753817 or you can email uh, sdaniel at uk. This week, uh, Darford put up an extra 100 tickets in for Maidstone United fans for why uh, today's massive game, Ken Derby. They sold out within an hour. So we've got 600 plus 100, 700 of the the Darford, Prince's Park today. Come on, you stones.
Patterson's birthday last week. Congratulations, happy birthday for Maidstone and number 17. So midday, good Friday. Uh, tickets went online, went on sale. Uh, an all ticket game for Bank Holiday Monday, May the 2nd away at Welling United, Parkview Road. Tickets are selling online now for that one, so get in there and uh, get your tickets. You won't be able to pay on the day. Website to purchase your tickets now to avoid disappointment. The way fans have access uh, to food and drink, turnstiles open then at Welling from 1:30 p.m. and the entrance is via the Erith and Belvedere turnstiles. That's for the away game at Parkview Stadium, Welling United, Comedy Stones. The, the MUFC community, you can check that up on the video. The under-13s MUFC community team, congratulations to them. They win the under-13 Central Division in the Kent Youth League. And we'll show you the league table as well, come on! All dark but outside, but that's all kicking off. Well, let's get back to the pre-game show, it's all going on here at Dartford. So congratulations Ivan Spikin then, Maystone United welcoming the new business development manager. Uh, Ivan has supported the Stones, uh, supported the Stones for over 40 years. Welcome to the club Ivan Spikin. Uh, last week, I don't know if you noticed, but I did the pre-game show where uh, Chippenham Town. Uh, we did the <laughs> Easter Soccer School, which was the 4th to the 6th of April, uh, but that was already the 9th. I put it on there, but it had already been and gone. But yeah, the, the, the new dates are in for the Spring East, uh, the spring Soccer School coming up. They're taking bookings now, so if you go on the Maidstone website, fill out your form for your child. You can do the uh, form out now, so avoid disappointment. It's definitely going to be a sellout again. The previous uh, Easter one was also a sellout. That's Monday to Wednesday, then the 30th of May to the 1st of June, the Spring Soccer Score at Maystone Gallagher Stadium. The 125 youngsters a day enjoyed the Easter Soccer School. So get your bookings done now to avoid disappointment. That's £25 per day. Uh, £65 for all three days and if you're a uh, MUFC development player you can book all three days then for 60 quid. That's open for school day uh, for school years two to nine. That's, uh, that goes on then from 10 a.m. in the morning to 3 p.m. in the afternoon at the Gallagher Stadium the soccer school. So if you can drop off your child in half an hour before 10 and then you can pick up within half an hour after it finishes at 3pm. 
there you go on the club maidstone united website or you can go on twitter go on to the links and then you can fill out your form for your child so to avoid disappointment border spring soccer school coming up 30th of may to the 1st of june Uh, the sold out games today then Maidstone away at Derby at Princess Park Kent Derby uh, Maidstone four points clear of Dawkins then uh, it, it is massive uh, Derby unbeaten at home so can we get something out of this hopefully we can I think if anyone's going to beat them at home we can do it Derby also put 100 tickets on sale uh, this week as well an extra on top of the 600 that already sold out we've got 700 fans oh uh, yeah they sold out within an hour as well the 100 that went on sale so you can't buy tickets today on the day it's already allocated it's already sold out but come on you stones we'll put up for you photos maidstone have been preparing for the game today easter bank holiday monday at dartford where we are, we're at the uh, Morton Shovel Pub. Mates don't been training on Saturday. We'll get the photos up for you on that one. We've been training on the grass ahead of today's Kent Derby. Everywhere they go. Preparations are done on Sunday. Maidstone squad we put the four photos up for you. The final preparations ahead of today's Kent Derby at Prince's Park, Dartford. Massive Kent Derby. Come on, Stones. That concludes everything that's gone on at Maidstone over the past week. We're going to jump into the stats section now for you. So on FOTMOB then, thanks to the app, uh, we'll give you the stats then. Here is the top half of the National League South table. Here's the bottom half of the table, come on. So, Here's the form table then, Maidstone and Dartford for the last five games. Neither side of Devine have lost in their last five matches. Dartford two wins, three draws. Maidstone five wins. Next up. And here in the National League, we'll show you now where both teams are on the league table. Let's give you the insights. The Dartford six goals in their last five matches. Maystone 13 goals in the last five matches. Dartford haven't lost in the last six. And Stone's not lost in the lost in the last five matches. Here's the season so far table. So Dartford's biggest win then was 6-0 away at Welling United. Maidstone's biggest win, 5-1 away win at Concord Rangers. Biggest loss for Dartford then was the 4-0 away win at Maidstone United at the Gallagher Stadium. And the Stones' biggest defeat was a 2-0 home win, a uh, 2-0 home loss away at home, sorry. It's all going on their way at home to Eastbourne Borough. The stats are showing that this could well be a draw. But who knows what can happen in a Kent derby. So both teams can still win the league title. That's 
lost everything on the uh, app for football. I'm gonna jump into the footballers app for you. Here is the uh, satellite hybrid view of where we are in Dartford, Kent, South East England. Here we give you the satellite view standard. And then the overall view of where we are in South East England, Kent. So I'm going to show you the games then on the head-to-head, uh, -head. eight games between both sides over the past few years. So there have been three wins for Dartford, three draws and two wins for Maidstone. No, the first one ever between the two going back to 2015. In National League South, November 2015, the Dartford won, Maidstone won. And the most recent most recent one, National League South then. Last season, uh, this season, last year, December the 11th, 2021, Maidstone 4, Dartford 0. We've had one FA Cup qualifier, and that was Dartford's win at the Gully. Maidstone out of that FA Trophy qualification games and the other five games have been in the National League South between the two teams. top of the table, five games to go, Stones 10 points clear of Dartford, four clear of Dawkin, come on you Stones. So thanks for watching the pre-game show, pretty lively, we'll catch you in the game at Prince's Park, come on Maidstone, thanks for watching the Mikey Barmy Army, catch you, come on.
Thanks for watching, Melbourne. Catch you at the game. Come on, you stars.